everyone welcome back to another video and in this video we go into Wales and I've got the wolf pack with me this time Hi. the wolf pack Hi. where are we going Wales. going to Wales you wanted to go to Wales before didn't you yeah. that's where we're going see when we get there well, you know you're in Wales when you come down these little roads and you get views and you can start to see all the hills. It appears that we're slightly lost and we've ended up going down this really really little small tight single track road which is quite cool as long as nothing else is coming the other way um, but we can't find the place that we're supposed to be staying so we're having to backtrack a little bit and go back Well, good morning everyone. And yes, it is morning because we got in late last night and it was too late to do any recording because by the time we actually found the campsite, we were losing the light. So we pulled in to this campsite we're in now. It's like a wild campsite on a farm. And we found a pitch and we had to quickly get the ground tent this ground tent pitched for the kids and my tent up there, which doesn't take long. That's all right. That's not too bad, but we obviously wanted to get done before, before we lost the light basically. So yeah, it was a bit of a, a bit of a battle to get it done before it got dark. So we were doing it with the lamps and torches yeah, when it was dark. So what I'm going to do now, I'll take you on a little tour around and show you the place. Let's go. This is where we stayed. What's this down there? And that up there, that, that's the Black Mountains. We're actually in the Brecon Beacons. That there is, uh, I believe, Priory Court Hotel. That was the entrance down there that we missed. And this is the campsite. Lil Anthony, I think it's called. There you go. So that is where we stayed. And the farmers fields. This is the farm up here. So this is Court Farm up here. I believe that's it there. horses you go and say good morning to them well that's court farm
came over earlier when I went to the toilet. Yeah, so that's your little parking. That's parking for the farm. In there, and then you've got Priory Hotel. That's a church. Well, I don't know if that bit is. I don't know what that is. St. David's Church. In there. So I'm assuming that's all the church. I'm quite sure where the hotel is though. It says on there, but that bit over there says it's Court Farm. I thought that was the hotel. And these, they do the following. Bought a few dog. Ancient monument. No picnics or dogs allowed beyond this point. Well, we can go in. Oh, Lord, no drones either. Haven't got one yet, so. Let's go have a look in here. <laughs> wow, look at that. Some ancient ruins. Apparently this was chapter house, according to that little bit of information. If you want, pause it and have a read. <laughs> you don't expect to see this on your campsite, do you? Really, it's not actually a proper campsite, though. Really, is it? It's just a, it's just a field. I'm not sure. What's what? So this is the Priory. There you go, some more information there. Well, Anthony. Is that Lil Anthony or Lanthony? Let's have a little look through here. You wouldn't want that bit to fall on you, would you? Oh, there's another little plaque in there, look, with some information on it. Stay out of there then, private garden. Yeah, that's the that's the Black Mountains. Sounds like some out of Lord of the Rings, doesn't it? <laughs> this looks like some out of Lord of the Rings even as well. I expect to see some like hobbits come running out of here or something. <laughs> Let's go 
down here, shall we? Have a little look. here yet. Seat. The church. to explore. <laughs> no camping. No camping in that car park I'm assuming. Hill walks that way and the toilets are actually just in that little block all the way up there. I'm sure you don't want to go all the way up there and have a look though. There, that's the toilets. And just got a little car park. Oh, and then over here as well, there's um, we've got a graveyard. Right, I've just been talking to um, Colin, the farmer, the guy that owns the farm over there, and he said to go in to this church. And have a look at the little the stained glass window he said because from the inside he said it looks awesome from the outside look it's got like a perspex thing on it to protect it same as the the mesh but he said go and have a look so i told him i was doing a, a video and he said to go in and have a little look and yeah it certainly smells like a church smells. They always smell the same, don't they? It's a cool little church. So you don't expect to see this when you're camping. How high that is. Oh yeah, that's really colourful, isn't it? Apparently it's just had that done not long ago. He said when the sun's on it, he said it really, really looks good. Peaceful contemplation. He said there's another one up here. Yeah, he was chatting to me for ages and he was giving me loads of information about the place. Oh yeah, there's that one as well. Yeah, you can't even see them from the outside, can you? If you like churches, you'll enjoy this, and if you don't, you'll have to skip by. <laughs> I just find them interesting. I don't know, I just like the whole, the architecture and just the fact that they're so old and, you know. I think it's just cool to go and check these places out because they're like hundreds of years old aren't they i'd just like to explore everywhere that i'll go and really, check things you know somewhere i haven't been before i'm assuming that's where you go and do your confession i'd be in there quite a long time i think <laughs> so yeah he was telling me you know what i was saying earlier about I was saying about, um, I didn't know what this was, a hotel. And yeah, that is over there. That is, that is Court Farm, but apparently these buildings up here, let me switch you, let me switch you around, I'll show you. Apparently that's the hotel there. Those rooms up there above the bar. So this like, this building all here is the hotel, and then that's the farm. I'm gonna go back now and see how the kids are getting on. One stood asleep when I left, and the other one was just getting changed. So I'll go back and see how they're getting on. 
See if I can gear them up for a walk. Because I'd like to check out those black mountains. See how far I can get up there. Let's have a little look to see who's ready. Are you ready, Ella Rose? <laughs> Doing your hair. Is Callum awake? Let's have a little look. The old man's still asleep. Wakey, wakey, rise and shine. It's time to get up. It's way past nine. Morning, Callum. Morning. You don't look like a little caterpillar in there, Callum. I see your head. <laughs> Callum. I don't think he's waking up, is he, anytime soon? We've had our coffee and a breakfast. Well, had a rise out a cup of tea, haven't you, darling? Hey? You had cereal, didn't you, as well? Yeah. Yeah. I had my coffee. I've got. I've got. I'm gonna have some something to eat in a minute, actually. I'm still hungry. Are you still hungry? I can make some sausages, maybe. Would you like some sausages? Would you like some sausages? Oh, you're not gonna be able to uh, be cold by the time I post them to you. <laughs> That's the only way I can get them sausages, isn't it? <laughs> the viewers. <laughs> Okay, my humour's lost on her, and probably you. Right, well I've got the sausages on, and um, we're also making a cup of tea. So let me show you what we're having. Lunch. We've got some award-winning sausages. These are Old English, and those are tomato and black pepper. Cooking those on the, uh, on the jet boil with a pot support. Because I wanted a cup of tea and I wanted it ready for the sausages, I got the transier out and popped that into the firebox nano and used my uh, TBS gear to boil the water so we can have a cup of tea with our sausages. Looking forward to them? Yeah. yeah. We already tried some, haven't we? They were good. They're They're really, really good. good. Yeah. Right. Let's get these cooked up. Right. Got a little update. We were going to go for a hike, but due to my daughter not feeling very well, she's not feeling too good at all. So she didn't want to go on a hike, and she was saying to me basically, "Yeah, just I'll just wait here." And I was like, "No, we're not going to do that." She was like, oh, I'll wait here and you just go on your hike. I says, no, darling, I'm not going to do that. So we've packed up and we're actually going to go home now. We're just going to head off and we're just going to get going. So that's the end of the trip. Yeah, it's cut a little bit short, but I hope you've enjoyed it so far. I know it wasn't my usual kind of like epic locations and stuff. I was hoping to go up on the, on the, uh, on the mountain up there and uh, show some stunning views and whatever, but it is what it is. My daughter's the most important thing, so that's more important to me. More important to me than going for a hike. So, hope you guys liked it, and if you did, give me a thumbs up, please, and subscribe because that would would really help the channel. Can't even get my words out. <laughs> right, so I'll see you guys later, and I'll see you on the next one because next time there's going to be something really special for us, anyway. <laughs> see you guys later. Bye.